man. Steph, um, he wins this this finals. It will give him four. Mm-hmm. Where does that put him, and what does that do for his legacy? You asking me, or you? Because you, you know how I feel about this guy. I mean, I'm <laughs> asking you because no. if he if, if he wins this fourth, you probably have him the best player in NBA history. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, but you know, we, yeah, we had the conversation about uh, it's probably last season or last year. You, you had me name my top five players, and we always, you know, put this asterisk on it that I've seen play that I watched play and know what the hell I was watching. And yeah. Steph was in my top five. I think I didn't, you know, Shaq didn't make the list or whatever. But Steph's in my top five. Um, and he'll, I mean, he, I can't say he'll move up a spot because I got Kobe, I got MJ, I got Braun. Um, who's the other player in my top five? I would have to go look back, but this may put him in the top three. Yeah, it's may put him in the top three, and then top, top three. Damn. If they win it, he should get the finals MVP. I'm assuming, and uh, his numbers aren't always indicative to his impact on that offensive side of the court. Um, as you've seen with uh KD and Draymond kind of going back and forth on the social medias these yeah. last few days, you know. But this is a conversation that we had about bus driver and all that shit. But uh, Steph Curry's effect on that court is different. Um. And uh, he'll shut a lot of people up with getting the finals MVP. And on the flip side, if he doesn't, or if they give it to somebody else on his team, or they lose, a lot of people will start talking, hey, the legacy talk, maybe he's not this or that. But he's he's entrenched in my top five. What about you, though? If he gets this fourth one at a time with Brun Brun, and they play in the same era, yeah. uh, what, what would that do for you and uh, for Steph's legacy, in your opinion? Oh, Steph's a great player, man. Great player. I still don't think it will um... – catapult him over LeBron I just feel like LeBron has just done it just for so long you know what I mean he's a, he's since he stepped in to the league man he's been leading on um, whatever team he's been on um yeah but not to take away from what Steph has done and what he's been able to do um at Golden State four rings um that's impressive um so I, I definitely have him in my top 10 all time um so I'm, I'm I'm anxious to see what he can do. I'm anxious to see. Well, I don't know what he can do, but I'm just anxious to see what this what this series, uh, what it will bring. Yeah, and this you know this is the end. This is the end. This is it'll be no more. Obviously, NBA ball. Uh, we got the WNBA. WNBA had a great um a great uh, four games slate the other day. I caught the the Aces game. Um, a- absolutely wow, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, like you know. He 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 might be in there now. Um, <laughs> nah nah, because I just, because because I had Shaq six, and I believe I want to say KD was five. Hey, I, and I think I, know, I think them two them two them two after KD and I got it's only been one team in this entire playoffs that got swept. Only one team, nobody else, not the Nuggets, not the the Hawks, no other team has got swept besides the Brooklyn Nets. So. KD might have dropped a notch and Shaq might have jumped him right there. So, because KD was in my top five as well. So, there we go. Shaq is in the top five. <laughs> but 